Tim, as you can see on the screen here, this is showcasing, and I find this very interesting. I, I don't know where I got this postcard, but if you think back in 1928, what were you and I doing, Tim? 1928. I was, my, my dad wasn't even born at that point. So that my was mother was ago. born in 1928. So it's been a long time ago. Long time. And, yeah. Look at this direct mail card in 1928. And they're taking this to Model T users and Model A users. And they're showing them what they can do for X amount of dollars to make a value on their particular vehicle. And, and so direct mail, Tim, has been around forever as long as there's been a pony express as long as there's been mail delivery it's there and i was talking to a shop owner the other day and he said he was using the uh, eddm and maybe you can help explain that and he says it's really not working too well and, and why wouldn't it work versus let's say an upswell and how you guys approach direct mail so you know, give us a little background on that tim yeah, you know, direct mail has evolved a lot, right? EDDM is an every door direct mail piece. It's a it's really a postage program through the post office to try to, you know, help small business owners who are just sending out a few hundred postcards or letters, uh, try to to help them kind of execute that kind of program. You know, the the, the dis disadvantages though of those types of programs are, you know, there's there's usually um, minimums on how you can print them. You have to physically drop them off at the post office yourself. And really the biggest part is that every door gets it. So it kind of loses that targeting. Uh, we've talked about in other, other um, segments, right? One of the critical points of direct mail is making sure that your audience that you're sending the postcard to is the right audience, right? And so mm -hmm. when you use an every door direct mail, it's a little bit more of a shotgun approach. You're kind of sending it out to everybody. There's no name on there. There's no personalization. You know, it's a very more of a kind of like a generic type mailings. And and there's a lot of, of your own personal uh, uh, time and labor that you have to put together to create it and find where you're mailing and send it out. And so these are all, you know, comp more complicated and more challenging steps for business owners that have multiple locations or they're sending out higher volumes of mail or they require more targeting more market understanding right and so for at upswell you know what we've done and, and is really add that targeting list segmentation that measuring and tracking one of the disadvantages of eddm is that there's no name on there and there's no address on there it's every door direct mail so they just drop oh, wow mailbox, right yeah. So one of the components of not just direct mail, but any marketing in general is being able to track and measure it. And, you know, for us, having an address on there and knowing who it went to allows us to match that in your in your POS system, you know, your point of sale system. So we can figure out <clears throat> who came in and how much they spent. These are all critical data points that you're going to need as you are optimizing and improving your direct mail program in the future. Okay. Well, I know this is, a, this is a short segment, but I wanted Tim to address that because a lot of shop owners I've talked to over the years have been doing that, and some have had limited success, but I believe another way to do it is approach it from a more direct to the customer type operation because, and, and remember when we used to do Advo, where did Advo go? Yeah, you know, in Advo. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a and, it's more of a coupon type shopper person, right? And so yeah. if there's a right or a wrong. It's just a matter of who are you trying to generate from a customer standpoint, right? And sure. you know, there's really not that much of a price difference between EDDM and traditional direct mail that a company like Mike Upswell would do. Uh, and so that's why I would encourage business owners to make sure it, it's not just getting a mailing out the door, but getting one that is going to give you the ROI and the return you need to continue to help grow your business. So that's why it's important to work with, with a partner who is focused on the end game, not just the invoice.